Teaching people how to live off the land has been a lifelong passion for Eustace Conway. Hello, Mr. Conway. What do you say, Joe? Good to see you. And one of the most important mountain man skills is learning how to hunt. Well, a few guns. Let me see what you got. I'm hoping to get some guns because I've got to have some to teach with. You know, I've got to have some for the campers and a shotgun or a 22 to get some food. All those things help people control their destiny. Here's the sweet little 22. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can teach the young people with that. Yes, sir. Nice. It's hardly a scratch on it. You sure you want to let go of something that nice? I'm hoping to trade these guns on some lumber to do some furniture work with. Stuff that uh, can't buy anywhere else at any of the big stores or the lumber yards. What else have you got here, Joe? I just think people should know how to hunt. You know, that's an ancient thing. It goes back to the earliest humanity. If you know that you can get food, it empowers you as an individual and a family and community. Just allows you to live. 30 out six to the scope. Oh yeah, this is a classic. If Eustace likes what he sees, he'll take the gun in exchange for an equal value of lumber from his sawmill. You like, I mean, you can see it, I could use this, but the scope is a little fogged. Yeah, it's been around a while. Yeah, I bet it has. These will be great training tools. These look like exactly what I want to work with. Now we just need to get you some lumber, get you what you want. If you want some high character and you want live edge, I'm thinking right here with all these knots, like all these swells. Joe wants some special wood, something that's just different than anything you can buy at any lumber yard. He wants high character, live edge, interesting art opportunity, you might call it. You put that on the mill and custom saw it. Like right now, it's just in a log form. Right. But I guarantee you, by the time you get all these big knots sticking out, that you'll have character there. I can't just saw this myself. You'd have to help out. But if we saw this, you'll be able to see in it. Once we open up, it's like opening a book. You can read right. it. You can see the grain pattern, mm -hmm. and you can see the live edge. That sounds like that deal will be kind of hard to beat. At least we get to see it that way. Yeah. He's game to pitch in, get some sawdust on him, a little man glitter here. And so I hope he's happy with this lumber, because like it's my opportunity to get the gun. There is a lot of little parts to this. Eustace is getting a helping hand to turn out the lumber he needs to seal a deal. So you'll be right here as a board comes out. Joe's job is to offload the boards as they're cut. Just peel it off. But that's not as simple as it sounds. You might pull one off and let it sit here and pull the next one, get two or three, and then carry them and then run back. Okay. And if there's one rule to remember when running the 100-year-old sawmill, it's to steer clear of the five-foot blade. It'll cut your head off, it'll cut you in half, it'll cut your arm off. It's totally unforgiving, it doesn't love you, it doesn't love your mama. It has no conscience. No. I just give him a crash course and say, Joe, this is dangerous. Enter at your own risk and let's go do it. Any questions about all of it? When we're getting started. Yeah. Right <laughs> They've selected this furniture grade log for its unusual and distinctive shape. The first slice trims the bark. But deeper cuts reveal the character and quality inside the heart of the wood. Wow. Look that at is that. beautiful, buddy. Yeah. Some serious character. It got some real shape to it. Oh, oh yeah. man, look at that. There's a lot of art to be created with all yes, of this. Yes, sir. Well, you've got yourself a trade. <laughs> You're happy, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Yeah, I love having these guns. They're really gonna empower me to empower the people to learn how to use these tools. 
I'm tickled to death with it. That's some beautiful stuff. That's awesome. I'm glad yeah. we could hook you up with just the right thing. Well, let's go get those guns. All right, buddy. Let's go square this thing up. Yeah. Eustace is taking aim. Yeah. Woo. Hot dog. <laughs> that feels right. He's now the proud owner of six new firearms. Not too shabby. This will make a heck of a deer rifle right here. Five of the guns are in perfect working order. Thing is so foggy, I can't really see something. But he can't be sure about the Remington until he makes an upgrade. Yeah, to give the rifle a fair chance, I need to put a better scope on it just to see how it hits. A small price to pay for what's otherwise been a favorable deal. I think it could fit on here. That's a whole lot better. It immediately looks a thousand times more clear. To put the rifle to the test, he first sights in the scope. Okay, let's see how this goes. Every time you put a new scope on, you have to adjust it to get it zeroed in. So you have to take a few shots, see where it's hitting, and adjust the uh, windage and adjust the elevation there. The windage and elevation knobs adjust the reticle and help shooters line their target up perfectly in the crosshairs. Looks like it's just a little down to the right, and it's very surprisingly close. We got the left and right looking good. Just need to raise it up a couple. Let's go see what that is. Yeah, I think that might work. Right in the bullseye. Nice to have one zeroed in nicely. Now that we've got the guns sort of checked out, we need to work on building a shooting range so that Freedom Camp can have a, a good place and a known place, like meet you at the shooting range. I need some steel targets that'll make a good plinking noise. Kids will love it when it comes flying around. Bing, bing. I'm not even gonna wait. I'm just gonna build one right now and 